everyone. My name is Brian Taylor with the North and South Rivers Watershed Association. We are here in Situate next to the Old Oak and Bucket Pond Water Treatment Facility right off Route 3A. So if you live in Situate, we are very near one of your active heron runs. So let's go check it out. So we are here right next to Old Oak and Bucket Pond in Situate, really close to the traffic circle right here near the Driftway and uh, Route 3A. And so this is an active heron run. Right here is the fish ladder going into Old Oak and Bucket Pond. So the fish starting in the Atlantic Ocean in the Gulf of Maine make their way through the mouth of the North and South Rivers right by the spit along the Situate and Marshfield line between 3rd and 4th Cliff make their way up the Herring River, which is the North River's first major tributary, also known as First Herring Brook. The Herring then make their way through this fish ladder uh, and then into Old Oak and Bucket Pond. Now, we have been monitoring the Herring counts here for a number of years and the numbers are low, but have been on a steady increase. Here in 2021, most of the Herring runs have been on the lower end, uh, but we have been seeing some positive improvements for the herring counts here in Situate along the first herring brook uh, tributary. So once into this pond, this is spawning habitat, but the town has been working with a lot of other agencies uh, to uh, raise the Situate reservoir levels, which is uh, beyond Old Oak and Bucket Pond, uh, to raise it about a foot and a half of the water levels higher to allow easier access for the herring to get into uh, the Situate Reservoir. Due to uh, dams, uh, a lot of development, and as well as water withdrawals where we're actually using too much of our reservoir resource, the water levels in the reservoir are very low and it does not allow herring to access the reservoir. If we are able to raise up the water level in the reservoir, at least a foot and a half, it should allow the herring to make their way into the reservoir and increase their spawning habitat by about 75 acres. So, uh, thus restoring much of the first herring brook herring run, and of course, uh, having more water for the town uh, as well. So, if you're around in situ and out and about, especially if you stop by the Driftway Park, uh, where some of this water begins, head there and then come on over here. You can park by the baseball field, walk on down, check out the fish ladder and see if you can see some herring. My name is Brian Taylor with the North and South Rivers Watershed Association. We will see you out on the rivers.